Hello, and welcome to Checkproof. In this video, I will show you how to easily get going and start using Checkproof. To get your first check in the app, you must first go through three steps here in admin. You create a site. To the site, you connect a unit or round, and then you build its checklist. Once you have connected these, your check is ready to follow in the app. A site is the place where a unit or round is located. It can be a geographical location, different departments within the business, or just your company name. For example, you have the head office in Leeds, but operations in both York and Grimsby. List all three as their own site to easily create an overview of what belongs where. In the app, you then select according to site when you want to perform a check. When the site is set up, it's time to add the units that are on site or the rounds that are to be performed here. A unit for us is a physical object such as a machine, a boat, or a crushing plant. A round, on the other hand, is something that does not necessarily need to be connected to an object. It can be a fire round, a safety round, risk assessment, etc. You choose what you want to add. In this case, I select units, new unit, and fill in the information I want to be connected to that unit. What can be good to know is that ID, model, and brand is what then becomes the unit's name in the app. When we have added the units and rounds that belong to each site and linked these together, it's time to create checklists for the respective units and rounds. Depending on whether you have several units that will use the same checklist, select the appropriate name accordingly. In this case, I choose to name the checklist after the unit I created. Object 1, 2, 3. In the world of checkproof, a checklist consists of several check intervals where you can decide exactly how you want your checks to look for the user. You can have several checks linked to one and the same checklist, for example, a daily check or an other desired interval. Then you build each individual check according to your needs with the help of our control point components on the left side. When you're done, press save and the checklist is created. The last step before your check is in the app is to connect the checklist you just created to the unit it's intended for. Enter units again, select your unit, then link the correct checklist to the unit and select save. Now your checks are in the app and easy to follow for all users in the business. Thank you for listening. For more similar videos, go to our website. There, among other things, you'll find more tips on how to build your checklists. Bye for now.